we're going to do an examination uh, specific to the cervical roots, C5, 6, 7, 8, T1, and we'll break it up into their component parts. The first C5, we have a sensory area, the deltoid, right here. Levi, do you feel that? Yeah. We have a motor, the deltoid. Levi, hold that right there. Don't let me move it. I can palpate the deltoid. Put your arm down by your side. And we have a specific reflex, the biceps reflex. And I can use a reflex hammer, or in this case, I can elicit it with tapping of my fingers. That was C5. Now C6. Do we have a sensory area for C6? Yes. Make a letter 6 just like this. And this is C6. That's the sensory area. The motor for C6 is the biceps muscle. So hold it right there. And the reflex for C6 is a brachioradialis right here. Now we'll go to C7. In C7, our sensory area is middle finger, middle finger. The motor area of C7 is the triceps, push against me, and finger extension, just go like that, against resistance, okay, and relax. Now, there is a reflex for C7, and that's the triceps tendon. So now we've gone through C5, C6, C7. C8 and T1 do not have a reflex, but they do have a sensory area. Okay? C8 sensory area is the small and the ring fingers, the forearm. Spread your fingers apart, bring them together. Finger flexors and the intrinsics, spread your fingers apart, bring them together this way. Okay. And the, sen the same with uh, T1. Interossei, hold it together. Okay. Relax now. Okay. And the sensory area for T1 is the inside of the arm. And that completes the neurologic examination.